That's me, that's an apple, and that is a lacquer turret that's about to shoot me without anyone controlling it. Yeah, let me explain. So a few weeks ago I got the idea to make a lacquer turret, but I thought to myself, that's boring, let's make it shoot automatically. So I decided to spend weeks trying to build a lacquer machine that can track and shoot targets. And I have gone through a lot to get to this point. Alright, we got a tracking of the targets, which requires machine learning and all kinds of stuff. This surprisingly enough went pretty smooth. So now we need to simply send one simple text message from the PC to the Mindstorms. Or what can it be? Let's just use the same thing as the Mindstorms does. Oh. So it turns out, Mindstorms doesn't run on the real programming language, it's just a way simpler copy of it, so they aren't the same. Okay then, let's just install a simple package. Well, that didn't work, since apparently it isn't supported anymore. Let's simply use the built-in Bluetooth operator. Since 90% of programmers online had a PC that didn't run Windows but Linux, I decided to grab an old PC and install Linux in it. And when I say old, I mean old, because as soon as it searched something on the internet, it crashed and it wouldn't reboot anymore. So I reinstalled Linux and never ever accessed the internet again. I finally got the code working on the Linux PC like I did on my laptop. Oh wait, this PC doesn't even have Bluetooth! So I ordered the Bluetooth dongle and waited for it to arrive. After it arrived, a new enemy had come with it, error 111. This is enough, because if I were to tell you all the errors I got, this video would take hours. But after 3 weeks of non-stop coding and thinking about coding, connect it. So what we got right now is a proof of concept. So then I just built a powerful cannon, I bought the programming for the aiming, and I got a working automatic turret. Now let's actually shoot some stuff. So we got the turret right here, and the target right there, and start. Right now, a lot of things are going to happen. Hang on, it's interesting. So the phone captures video to its camera and sends it to the computer. In there, software reads this data and adds it to the webcams. Then, the program reads this newly added webcam and says, Hey, I recognize a target. Then, it just sends a message to the Mindstorms to move towards the target till it is slightly above and to the right of the camera center. Just like the barrel in real life. For the left and right movement, it uses this rotating platform that is powered with this motor. For the up and down movement, it uses these linear actuators. During the Aiming, the wheel on top is speeding up rapidly, waiting for a projectile to be inserted. You can now clearly see the machine arrived at the wanted location. At this point, it already came to full speed and it now loads a new projectile and... Shoot. At about an apple. Okay, I'm not going to do this. Don't shoot yourself. Or others. With a turret. Or a gun. That's why I got my buddy here to volunteer as a target. A big thanks to Dave Morgan and Marcel from Astonishing Studios for helping me with debugging all the errors. 